I purchased the Karoo 3 with the intention of keeping it and selling my Edge 1040 since I recently purchased the Garmin Enduro 3 and wanted to have some variety from using all Garmin products. This is the startup between the 1040 and the Karoo 3. The Karoo 3 is running Android, but honestly Boost Mobile hands out free phones that are snappier than the Karoo, which is premium priced at $475. These are both solid cycling head units, but you will notice that one is a lot more refined than the other. For tracking accuracy, both units are comparable, with no major issues. Garmin is the more reliable one, as you will see in a few examples, which makes sense for a sat-nav company that has been developing professional aviation, marine, and military GPS receiver hardware for decades. The elevation data recorded by the Karoo was 300 feet less than the Garmin. The 1040 calibrates elevation when you start the device and again when you begin a ride. With the Karoo, you really don't know if you have a GPS fix or if your elevation is calibrated. If you have phone service, make sure you have your phone connected with the Karoo app via Bluetooth and get the unit tracking before you start a ride so it calibrates instead of riding from a cold start. The 1040 will also begin measuring your distance in feet as you begin a ride providing reassurance you are recording, but with the Karoo, you're at zero until it turns .01 as you hope you are recording. The Karoo is in yellow and the edge is in blue, they're lined up good on this bridge. On this bend, the Karoo took it short, the Garmin took the actual path. I'm riding on the right side of the road here on this gravel route, and the Karoo is on the left. The Karoo is hanging off the bridge here. And again, the Karoo wants to be on the left side of the road for some reason. As for street map data, these two are basically using the same data sets. The Karoo uses OpenStreetMap. Most major mapping platforms pull info from a variety of the same publicly available resources. Garmin uses Here Maps, formerly Navtech, for its street data, but will also use data OpenStreetMap uses for its base maps. A major difference is that Garmin adds contour lines and shaded relief to add depth to the map. Topo mapping is obviously very important for mountain biking and route planning. Unless I'm riding somewhere flat like Florida, the Karoo's map page is not useful to determine upcoming hills and valleys unless you're staring at the elevation graph. That being said, the Karoo does do a nice job with a bright yellow line with arrows showing your route. The 1040 puts further ahead turns at the top of the screen, and the Karoo has a yellow bubble at the bottom. Upcoming turns are very similar with a tone and a yellow folder with tabs popping up at the bottom of the Karoo. Hill specific climbing data looks very nice on both units with a tab popping up on the Karoo on whichever page you are currently on. The difference is a dedicated Climb Pro page will pop up on the Garmin units. The non-hill specific elevation data tracking field on the Karoo definitely looks better and perform better with smaller hills than the Garmin, as the scale on the 1040 was less easy to see small elevation changes. The third iteration of the Karoo is okay, but it is not worth almost $500 after taxes. Garmin has a rock solid device and app with years of refinement compared to the Karoo who farms out data processing to Strava, most of which is behind a paywall. I attempted to put Android apps on the Karoo with no avail. Placing one of the only screen protectors available on Amazon for the Karoo made it worse in sunlight. The Karoo uses its own mounting system but provides an adapter. The Karoo feels low quality and cheap compared to Garmin. I would trust the Garmin taking a beating falling off of handlebars, but not a chance with the Karoo. Even with SRAM purchasing Hammerhead and throwing money at it, it is going to take a few more iterations for the Karoo to be a worthwhile, reliable device. I think SRAM wanted a head unit to integrate with their e-bikes and electronic shifting and not be a serious GPS unit.